hi beauties welcome back to my channel if you are a returning thank you for always coming back if you are new in this family and you are yet to subscribe kindly subscribe and turn on your notification button so you can be notified when next i post new videos so guys let's get started so guys you already know what this tutorial is all about here with me i have my swiss lace net or mesh i have different color with me and i'll be using just one of them to make this tutorial okay it's lengthy needle i'll be using for this tutorial and it comes in one holder and four pins inside one one can pick up to one strand of hair one to two can pick two to two strands of hair two to three can pick two to three strands of hair three to four can pick up to four to three strands of hair so that is how it is so this is where you can insert your pin so you can choose any of the pin, any of the number, any of this, any strands you want to ventilate with. You can just choose any one and insert it directly. There is a hole inside the, the ventilating holder there. So you screw very tightly. After that, you are good to ventilate. So guys, as you can see, I already placed the net on the manicure head, securing it with T-pins. For the center parting, I use a T-pin to demarcate where the part. To ventilate, push the needle through the net and pick three strands of hair and drag it out to make a knot. You keep on flowing a straight line so your work can come out very neat. So I'm done with one side of the hair, I will switch to the other side. I will allow you guys to wash too. Keep doing same thing until you are done. I will be doing just 14 lines all together, 7 lines on each side, I really don't need much of it. Guys, next thing again is patience. Yes, patient I said, you really need to be extremely patient when ventilating. 
if you really need a good work and a very neat work you need to be patient so your work can come out very neat so when ventilating you skip a line to give it that natural look So here we are and this is the end result like I said earlier I don't really need much of it yeah I don't need much of it you can as well use this method to make your own frontal 360 closure trust me attachment closure is the best for braiding and making of Ghana weaving please guys if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please and please subscribe freely and turn on your notification button to know when i post my next video thank you thank you for watching